I feel very compelled to start with this slide. Uh, as you know, we had a, uh, an announcement on Monday uh, when we made a change to the margin projection for the quarter, uh, so, and the, the change was associated with our view of margins associated with the NAM business, right? And I wanted to share some of the data with you now and give you my, my view on the situation. Stacy will do a deeper dive later on this afternoon when he gets up here and give you more detailed numbers. Um, but the heart of the issue is, is pricing has moved very, very rapidly, and much more so than we thought even at the beginning of this quarter. Uh, I've got the numbers here from the Q3 to Q4, NAND, NAND price erosion, at least in the, in the mix that we ship into the marketplace, was 28%. We had forecasted another 27% reduction over the course of the first quarter. And in fact, what we're seeing is almost twice that, at 53%. The result of, those, of, of that dropping almost twice as fast as we thought has a double impact. And this is where I think some of the questions that got raised in the, uh, the write-ups that followed our announcement that we're hoping to try and address today. One impact is obvious. Obviously, one impact is that the product you ship out the door is shipped at a lower gross margin. Right? Another aspect of that that you didn't probably understand coming into this meeting is that we shipped almost twice as many bits this quarter as we did in Q4. And part of that was that Q4, as you know, was a bit slow in the NAND business. Some of our customers had some inventory, and we ended up shipping uh, a lot more product this quarter at a much, much lower price. The other aspect that you probably didn't understand, uh, and that we haven't factored into our forecast, is the impact of that lower price on the inventory valuation of the products we have in finished goods and in WIP. And we value our inventory, like many firms, on a lower cost or market basis. And when your view of the market going forward is not as robust as you thought, we're now not forecasting a rebound in pricing in this area, you take a write down, not just in the subsequent period, but on the inventory that would actually ship out in Q2. So that's why the effect of what was announced on Monday seems magnified relative to the size of the business. And Stacey will give you more details on that. Um, let me tell you about the actions that we're taking as a result of this. First of all, near term, we are, uh, like many in the NAND, NAND business, uh, we're focusing to move our products to a broader array of customers. And in particular, we're very excited about solid state drives. Uh, we'll talk to you a little bit more about solid state drives in some of the drill down presentations uh, in mobile uh, later on, I guess tomorrow morning. But the idea that the newest notebooks, this is the new Lenovo X300, which comes standard with a solid state drive, and this is the Apple Air, which has a solid state drive as, a, as a, an option. Uh, the newest performance notebooks, as they get thinner and lighter, are moving to solid state drives. And Intel, we believe, has a very strong position here. Uh, we know that we can deal with platform power management by integrating the drives. We have controller technology for these drives that we think delivers a higher performance drive in terms of reads and write times, but also higher reliability over the life of it. And lastly, we think we'll be one of the first to market with multi-level cell product, which allows us a density and cost advantage. So you'll see us start moving pretty aggressively starting mid-year into SSDs to try to move out of some of the commodity parts of this market move away or, or give us some insulation against that. The second thing is that we are evaluating, modulating the rate at which we're growing the business and wanting to see how this business turns out and how the pricing uh, settles out over the next uh, you know, periods of time. And the, the third thing I wanted to do, though it's not written on the slide, is give you my personal commitment on this, on this business, that this business will not be a drag on Intel Corporation. We're going to fix it or we're going to make sure that it's profitable one way or another. And this is a, a business that we entered on the assumption of profitability, and we intend for it not to drag down the company going forward. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about NAND. Stacy will cover some more as he gets into it. 